<laughs> so we're just a yeah. few minutes late, but um, I guess we'll get started. So again, my name is Anna Stedman. I graduated from Seattle Culinary Academy back in 2019, and I've been working as a um, or working at PCC since then. Um, worked my way up through the deli, and I am currently um, working in the cheese department. I'm just learning as much as I can, but um, let's see. Today, I, or actually, let's see, this is my first workshop, so bear with me. <laughs> um, so today, we're working with air fryers. Today, I have two. Um, I've got this one that's more common, smaller one, um, cheaper. I think this one was like $40 for me. Um, and then this one's a little bit bigger. Um, it's about $90 on Amazon. Um, fit more, <laughs> more stuff in. Oh, it's in your room. Yeah. So, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use both of these. Um, just a few simple recipes. Um, let's see. Do you have packets of each of recipes? I'm going to hand those out. Oh, thank you. So, thank you. In the smaller air fryer, we're going to do a basic recipe of just some steak and fries um, and some glazed carrots. Just kind of a Nice, simple, balanced meal. And then in this one, in this one we're doing um, Moroccan chicken and Moroccan vegetables and paired with tzatziki sauce. Uh, anyways, let's go over some of the benefits of an air fryer. Um, they use less heat, or like they admit less heat, use less energy. Um, they're easier to clean than just a regular oven, um, and it's a lot less oil used too than a deep fryer. So you can use these as, like there's three different settings on most. There's air fry, bake, and roast. So you can fry food, or you can just use these as ovens to bake or roast. Um, roast roasts. Um, yeah. Let's see. Anyways, first I'm going to get started with just the glazed carrots. Uh, now you can use uh, fresh carrots and peel them and cut them. Today I have, just to demonstrate the ease of it, frozen carrots. Um, And then, let's see. Spoons of brown sugar, and you can find this recipe in the packet. Yeah, sounds like they're the last page, actually. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Then. Some salt over here. We'll just do a quarter teaspoon of salt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Anna, when you cook at home, do you measure? When I cook at home, um, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I, 
I've gotten to the point where I can just kind of measure by eye. Yeah. Um, just till it feels about right, but that's, that's taken me a long, long time to get to that point. But for the sake of the class, I'm measuring today. Um, <laughs> anyways, tossing the carrots. So I have some vision issues. Are your are your carrots like um, sticks or? Oh, pounds? these are they're just Marble. little coins. Sorry. Oh, they're little coins. coins carrots. Okay. Uh, so I got some just for the sake of demonstrating the ease. Yeah. I got um, frozen carrots. Yeah. So. And thinking quick, easy meals with a small air fryer. But anyways, I've got the carrots all nice and tossed. And then in this front one, I'm just going to open it up. And it, this is what it looks like inside. It's got a little, little insert and such. Very easy to clean. So I'm just going to dump the carrots right in. going to air fry at 400 for 15 minutes. So I've got, turned it on and selected air fry. So it's at 415 minutes. I'm just going to start. Well, that's there. You don't have to preheat when you're using air fry? No, nope. you don't need to preheat. Um, yeah, it just automatically, it, it will take a little bit to heat up. So I'm doing the carrots first because um, once I get to the steak, I want it kind of already heated up, like it's, it's already been used. So carrots are fine just roasting, but next I'm gonna do the steak in here. Do you wanna make the vegetables uniform like you do in usual cooking? Yes, as uniform as you can. Yeah. Okay. All right, so well, that is in there. I'm going to season the steak and set it aside. And then the first one. Thank you. Um, what kind of steak? <laughs> this, this I got just, uh, I believe it was a top sirloin. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can You can really do any, any steak. I just wanted to know what that was. Yeah. Um, I know. <laughs> and with these steaks, you want them a little bit thicker for the air fryers because um, if they're too thin, they'll cook all the way through. And if you want like that medium rare or rare. Is that like an inch or so? Yeah, it's about an inch. Yeah. All right. of salt, but you can just really sprinkle to your heart's desire. Let's see. I want to get both ends, actually. And that's some pepper, too. to cross the tail.
Just to help with the browning, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on too. And I've, how many ounces is your meat? Ounces, this one was a, about an eight ounce. Eight ounce cup. Sometimes you don't want to do much prep. You just want to put it in and cook and eat. That's right. Yeah. So we'll set, set that aside with the steak. Uh, in the meantime, I did the chicken. oil first and then the seasonings so it sticks on but you can really mix it up <laughs> as long as they're both on. So I'm doing all right. If you use chicken breast, would it come out dry or is that why you're using the thigh? Um chicken breasts they would come out a little drier. I've found that with the air fryers though they um, still end up like moist. Um, as compared to like if they were in an oven. So yeah. I just kind of went along with the chicken thighs, just. I don't They're know. less expensive. Huh? They're less expensive. Less expensive, yes. Yeah. yeah okay. But you, you, can, you can substitute with any, any kind of chicken. Yeah. Um, anyways, all right, got the seasonings. Like that. All 
and I'm actually going to set these aside as well because we're going to cook the chicken and the vegetables at the same time in the same air fryer. So. Veggies? Yeah. Start preparing the veggies now. zucchini, um, sweet potato, and let's see, two tomatoes, red peppers, and such. We'll demonstrate cutting them. I'm gonna set that there. Could you move the bowl, no, I, the bowl over so the Oh, yes, absolutely, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> let's make sure you can see. Okay, so I'm only gonna use half of this onion. Um, so you cut it in half, and then at the core end, cut a triangle to remove the core. And set that aside. And then um, cutting lengthwise, I'm going to cut into it kind of at an angle to thinly slice, well, slightly. You want about like a quarter of an inch slice. You can also do just one at a time. So I'm just going to cut the red pepper in half and remove the core and kind of cut to
Now in school, they had taught us to cut both ends off to get like little, or cut each end off and then you can get little sticks. But for this, for the sake of this dish, I want to try and keep that sh don't have a shape. All right, now we have a peeled sweet potato, thanks to Grace. Mm -hmm. All right. So, moving those aside. And this, it's kind of easier if you cut it into quarters. And then just kind of get out. going to be hot but they're nice oh, and roasted nice. Mm -hmm. only 15 minutes do you want to mm -hmm. too dirty in there um, and since these get paired together like flavors just kind of melt a little bit so I'm just gonna put the steak in here and then put it in here and I'm going to reduce the temperature leave to 350 <laughs> This is for 400. Ah, 400. Oh, 400. And then the time. I'm going to do four minutes so that it stops and I'm not having to check the time. Um, so I'll just put it there and then I'll flip it in four minutes. In the meantime, I'll finish up with the vegetables. All right, so same thing with the sweet potato. So once it's peeled, just cut it in half. Skin. What's that? Can we include the skin? Yeah, you can if you want. Yeah. Yeah, the skin is entirely edible. The Europeans include the skin because they said that the nutrients are in the skin. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I personally, I, I go either way. I do like the skin. Then, yeah, yeah, you can include the skin if you like. Um, this 
specific sweet potato. Um, it's got a little bit of a wider end. So in order to keep kind of everything the same size, I'm cutting off the smaller end and I'm gonna do those half moons. But But then with the larger ends, I'm gonna cut them in half again and do quarter moons. the garlic and I actually need one of these cloves for the chicken so I'm gonna do that at the same time now you can mince the garlic by hand or I learned a nice trick is that if you use a microplane it's nice fast and easier I unfortunately forgot to bring my microplane um that might work this one might work actually If you want to get a fork and flip the steak. So Grace is going to flip the steak. Yeah. Minus. Yeah. Minus. There we go. Four minutes, right? Four minutes. Oh. Yeah. What, what is it? Star button. This one? Yeah. There we go. So we've got it for four more minutes. Mistake. We should be scared. I just need one. So I'm doing one clove of garlic to go with the chicken, too. It's kind of grouping the steps. We'll just set it aside. Yeah. Something I've learned is to kind of um, group steps if you're doing the same, same stuff. Um, 
for different recipes and kind of do them at the same time. So, all right, we got that. So now for the um, And I'm going to add lemon juice. I've got half a lemon here. Um, this is one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. I'm just going to approximate it right now. Just squeeze it directly in. All right. Make sure not to get any seeds in there. <laughs> Alright, and then for the spices, I've got all the spices in here. I've got the um, cumin, or one and a half teaspoons of cumin, three quarters of a teaspoon turmeric, uh, three quarters of a teaspoon cinnamon, three quarters of a teaspoon paprika, and one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. I'm going to sprinkle it around so that it can distribute properly. All right. And let's go over here with this. And now I've got um, one 15 ounce can of garbanzo beans that, um, or well, actually, we only need half of this. Or actually, um, yeah, we only need half of it. But um, so it's already been drained. I'm gonna do half of this in there, just kind of estimate. And then we need the oil. One tablespoon of oil. And I've again got olive oil that you can really use, whatever oil you prefer. with these air fryers, you don't get like that, as much of that browning on the outside and searing, but um, still turns out to be a very juicy and delicious steak. So. All right, we will set this aside and let it rest. Mm pre-seasoned in the package, so you've got the salt, the oil, and everything, again, for ease of, ease of use. And for these fries, I'm going to do 400 for 10 to 12 minutes, so I'm going to reduce the time and just do 10 minutes and check them after that. All right. Okay. 
going to finish with these vegetables. Actually, I need to finish the eggplant. I've got half an eggplant here that I'm going to add in. I'm going to put it in half and just kind of do those quarter pieces again. making sure they're evenly coated and everything. Oops. That happens. <laughs> All right. Got a few stray pieces. It's okay. And they just landed on the cutting board. I'll just add those back in. All right. I'm gonna set those aside for the moment and finish up with our chicken. with like the little parchment inserts they sold um, separately or I'm just using just regular parchment like them down to fit um, or you can just put the food directly on I find with these racks especially it's easier to put parchment on just to clean but if you choose not to there is a little pan on the bottom that's removable to catch on here and then lay out the chicken thighs. too much to fit all at once, but um, 
as you know, going to the grocery store, you buy the whole vegetables, it's gonna make, like, it's gonna be a lot. So what I'm thinking is, um, once this is all prepped, you can even leave it in your fridge for up to a week and um, still got easy meals, easy vegetables. So. too much on the pans. There's multiple ways of doing this. You can pick off the leaves if you want, or you can leave them on. Um, really, I've been taught both ways. And like, leave them on the stem. You can just mince them, holding them together.
25 minutes. But if it was sliced up? If it was sliced up, it would, it would be a shorter amount of time. Yeah, probably about like 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. Actually, that's a great question. Yeah. Um, let me show you with this one. This one's still, well, it's a little hot. Um, you can hand wash this one. Um, just remove it. Inside, insert. Just comes out like that. And then inside, and these are non-stick, so you can just wipe. Yeah. Wipe it out or hand wash it. Is it dishwasher um, safe? What was that? Is it dishwasher safe? I don't believe it's dishwasher safe. Yeah, I'm sure, man. It's ready again. Yeah, try it again. Oh, fresh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Grace is that great. safe for 
food or safe for our bodies. So. on the bake setting you can use it just like an oven yeah but you wouldn't do that when you're frying the dish the dish i haven't tried it um i don't know how it would necessarily what was that i said it doesn't let enough air circulate to your frying yeah yeah it, it wouldn't let a as you said wouldn't let enough air circulate um to air fry so baking it though Baking or roasting, I would use a, a dish if you need to. When you're going back to the cleaning question, would there be any benefit to having a, like a little spray bottle of soapy water vinegar? And yeah, yes, right. absolutely. Yeah. And vinegar, yes, that's an, another great one. All right. Any other questions? Or what, what are, for, for those of you that have air fryers, what are your favorite recipes? setting is I cook it on one side at half the time then I turn them and then we cook for the other half. Yeah. Those are the, the frozen the big jumbo shrimp. Is that Pardon? Shrimp? The, the frozen shrimp? The big frozen jumbo? shrimp. Yeah. Uh, how the tempura shrimp yeah. and the small uh, oh, even the small ones shrimp. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't cook the salad ones. I just defrost them. All right. All right, so the chicken, I just checked the temperature and it's only at 115. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add some more time. The vegetables look like they, okay. Actually, vegetables we're gonna remove and we'll finish off the chicken. Let's see if they're good. Okay. them they take because it is it's smaller yeah. space so. yeah. and these ones I'm actually gonna let them yeah. stay in here for a little more time the top of the air fryer is a bit hotter so it cooks faster um,
defrost it. I, I haven't, I haven't tried it, but just, you can just put it in. Um, yeah, you can use it just as a normal oven. Um, just set it to whatever the um, frozen pizza box says, the temperature and the time. Bacon, yeah. You, you can bake it. The, yeah, there's three different settings. So there's the air fry, bake, and roast. So. So all of this is on the air fryer setting. That you've yeah. Done. Yeah. This has all been on the air fry setting. Um. Yeah. Just just for the sake of time, it, it is faster to air fry it. Um. But if you want. Use it like an oven. I just said we get that that quality of an oven. Then I'd say. Um, Are the vegetables do the, they turn out differently? Do you use the air fryer versus the roast? Yes, they they do. I've noticed that with the air fryer, they turn out a bit um, a little bit drier and a little bit more crisp oh, okay. on the outside, okay. but still juicy on the inside. But um, yeah, with the roast or bake settings, they're going to be a little bit more moist. And yeah. Yeah, what? All right. <laughs> I'm just waiting on those. It's got three more minutes on the fries. Um, we'll cut them. Yeah. Would you do asparagus on air fryer roast? Have you done it, Grace? No. <laughs> but it is. I think asparagus would be an excellent, excellent choice of vegetable. Probably most of them. All right. I'm going to cut this steak just so that we can share it. Asparagus, yeah.
these a bit and actually put them in just for a few more minutes. Right. Should be no, So I just buy from the one that is Okay, let's check this chicken out again. And then these both are the other things too. And then a lot of appetizers. Yeah, but it's easy to put in there and that kind of thing. Okay. Vegetables are done. The chicken is actually taking a little bit longer than expected. Yeah, because it's so much chicken. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're doing smaller portions, it's gonna. Yeah, if you do smaller portions, it'll be quicker. I'm just trying to make sure there's enough for everybody to try. And, and yeah. When I cook my chicken, I cook it for about 20 minutes. And yeah. it's usually done. But I yeah. don't cook anything else with it. Yeah. Yeah. So it would yeah. go much faster. Yeah. Is there some gas? Um, let's see. I'm just going to add just a few more minutes to this. Thank <laughs> you. 